we've seen a lot of deaths in space movies. Yeah, a yeah. lot of just people's masks like freezing over. Or yeah, whatever. or Outland where they they yeah. totally <laughs> they get exposed and they turn into liquid. Yeah, two thousand and one did it right okay. when Dave Bowman is exposed to the vacuum of space for mm -hmm. a brief period of time as he's trying to get back onto the Discovery. Mm -hmm. He manages to survive about 45 seconds in mm -hmm. a vacuum without damage. And that, from what I understand, and I'm not <laughs> a scientist, is completely accurate. Yeah. In the same way that we found on Mythbusters, deaths from electrocution are not nearly as spectacular as Hollywood <laughs> would lead you to believe. No what? one s smokes and no one <laughs> shakes like this. Uh, a death in space would involve the liquid that was exposed mm -hmm. to the air boiling off of you. You would suffocate. You'd be hypoxic. Yeah. So after about 30 or 40 seconds without air, you would you would suffocate yeah. and you would expand a little bit but our skin is you really see leathery it. and yeah. we would expand a little bit but we wouldn't pop yeah well there's also a lot of myths in space movies you know that you can that people are talking to each other and yes. just, you know, explosions of spaceships yep there's no sound, of, sound of explosions <laughs> in space